Hey folks, Paul here at G&D Chillers, the engineering manager. Uh, we use a very robust pump in our chillers, uh, but sometimes they do need a little bit of maintenance or a shaft seal replacement when they start to leak. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a very simple process that uh, you can do with just a few basic tools. So the first step is to remove the volute from the head of the, uh, of the pump, um, separate that from the motor and I'll show you exactly how to do that. There's four bolts here that need to be removed and then you just pry the two pieces apart. We'll get this apart here. Um, you'll see there's a paper gasket here that seals the volute to the seal plate inside the pump. Um, on older pumps that may be damaged when you take it apart so you'll need to be able to scrape that off and clean up the surfaces. The next step here is actually to remove the impeller from the shaft of the pump. This model um, has a screw holding the impeller to the shaft. Some do, some don't. It depends on the, uh, the specific model. You'll need, of course, a screwdriver to uh, take that screw out. Sometimes you'll need to get a hold of the shaft on the back side here and take off this back cover. So on these smaller pumps, that's just a quarter inch nut driver on the back. All right, so now we need to move, remove the uh, screw that holds this impeller in place to keep it from backing off. Um, note this is a left-handed thread. So instead of righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, it's the opposite. Next step here is to unthread the shaft from the impeller. Sometimes it breaks free real easily, other times it might take a little effort. And it is a right-handed thread. Now we should be able to remove this shaft seal from the shaft itself. You want to use two screwdrivers to do that. Um, you don't want to pry unevenly and end up damaging the shaft or the, uh, the seal plate. Be very careful not to scratch the shaft itself because that's the surface that seals and keeps your glycol inside the pump. This is a mechanical seal that seals around the surface of the shaft itself um, and to the seal plate. Now we can remove the seal plate and we'll need to replace this seat here. It's a ceramic piece so it's very hard and very smooth for the shaft seal to actually mate up with and create a good tight seal. It usually doesn't take much force to push the seal out, um, but if you look in here, you can see that uh, there's the, uh, the seat is exposed there and it, there's a good surface to push on. Um, so you just push a little bit. You might have to tap, go back and forth between the sides, and it just pops out. Now there are two pieces to this particular seal. There's a rubber piece that, uh, that mates up with the ceramic surface, and then that, uh, that goes into the cavity here. Now that we've got it all disassembled, we have to replace it with a new, a new shaft seal and put it all back together. So here's the seal kit that you would need to, uh, to have all the parts uh, to replace the seals in this pump. Um, it has the mechanical shaft seal as well as a, an assortment of paper gaskets to fit the, uh, the head of the pump. Um, and you'll only use one of these gaskets, the others would just be discarded. All right, so this is the mechanical shaft seal. It looks exactly like what we just removed from the pump. Um, there's also a little cardboard washer uh, that can be used to protect the seat as you put it in place and press it into place. So it would just go on top and you might use a washer, or excuse me, a, uh, a socket to push it into place. Uh, I don't expect we'll have to do it uh, that way on this. I should be able to just push it in with my fingers. Um, so you do want to lubricate this somehow. You can use mineral oil or soapy water. And of course, the rubber piece is what goes in first. The ceramic seat needs to be facing outward. And you'll just 
force that into place here. Make sure it seats evenly. Next step is to install that on the pump. And you want to be very careful that you don't scratch this, uh, this ceramic piece in here. Um, it's very easily damaged. And of course, you don't want to sh scratch the, the shaft either. And push it into place. And you'll need to hold it there so it doesn't fall off. Um, you'll also want to get a little bit of oil or soapy water onto the shaft seal itself before you install that. All right. So the next step is to put the impeller on and then uh, of course put the screw on as well to hold it in place. You'll need to hold this shaft again to prevent it from turning as you tighten everything down. The impeller will spin onto, pl onto the shaft, forcing everything together, and it, it should compress that shaft seal. There's no specific torque value for this. Um, be careful you don't over tighten it, uh, but it is pretty resilient. Um, and it's really hard to put too much torque onto it because there's really no way to to grip this impeller very well All right, so next you'll want to find the right gasket to uh, to use on this housing um, Looks like this is the right one here you may want to wet this gasket with just water. Um, you could use mineral oil on it as well, but water should be fine. You want to make sure that uh, the seal is in good shape. If you're not going to replace it, make sure there's, the, there's no cracks um, or tears in it from when you remove this from the pump originally. Um, if there's any doubt, just replace the seal. Um, also make sure that this surface here where the gasket mates up to is clean. There's no scratches um, or dirt or anything like that. Replace the bolts and just go finger tight initially on all four um, and then you'll tighten them incrementally um, in, a, in a star pattern to make sure that you don't put uneven torque across this and end up cracking the head of the pump. All right, so now that they're just snug, um, I'm going to tighten them down all the way. But like I said, do that in a star pattern. So tighten one here, tighten the other one across from it um, to about the same torque, um, and then move on to the, the next one. And don't over torque it either because, you know, the cast iron head here um, is it's strong, but if you put too much uneven torque on it, it will crack. And that's, that's definitely the last thing you want when you've just replaced the seals. So that's it. You've got new shaft seals um, in this pump. It's ready to go. Uh, you can throw it back in the chiller, tighten up your unions, and, uh, and turn it on. Um, of course, if you have any issues, give us a call, shoot us an email. We have 24-7 tech support, and we're always happy to help.